I realized something recently. I've talked a lot about tech trees in War Thunder, but mostly just how they're balanced, or vehicles that could be added to them. I've never talked about the quality of each one, how enjoyable or easy they are to grind. Surprisingly, a lot of you guys are relatively new to the game, so I thought talking about that would be helpful. And who knows, maybe a decent number of you guys are veterans, and are just looking for a new tech tree to grind. I'll try my best to cover both topics. Also, keep in mind that this is for Ground RB. I don't really play Arcade or Air. But before we get into it, I want to talk about my sponsor. I'm partnered with Apex Gaming. They make pre-built PCs. If you're looking to upgrade, you should check them out. Link is in the description and comments. You can use my username as a discount code on checkout. Now back to the video. Let's start with the big three. The US, Germany, and Russia. First up, the US. For the most part, American tanks are middle of the road, which is also their strength. They don't have a ton of amazing tanks, but on the other side of the coin, they don't have a ton of bad tanks either. Their tanks usually have very thin armor, but they compensate with mobility and gun stabilizers. But because of that, I wouldn't recommend them as a starter nation. When it comes to learning how to play War Thunder, learning how to properly come to a halt and aim is a big part of doing well. Stabilizers more or less negate this. So probably not good as a starter nation, but definitely a strong choice for your second tech tree. Now moving on to Germany. If the US is consistently good, the German tech tree is consistently great. Germany has the strongest low tier in the game, and that more or less extends to their mid tier as well. Their tanks do encourage a more passive playstyle, but once you get the hang of it, they're incredibly potent. Their upper to mid tiers are also quite strong, though definitely not the absolute strongest. They also get a wide variety of captured vehicles, so their bases are pretty well covered. Definitely a solid choice for anyone starting the game, though if you're a veteran looking for a quick grind, you won't find it here. The German tech tree is the second largest in the game. Next up, Russia. I would say that for the most part, Russian tanks are the most difficult to master, but once you learn to use them correctly, they are very powerful. They usually have very solid mobility and armor, but they trade that for poor gun handling, mostly in gun depression and turret traverse. Their guns typically hit pretty hard, and have insane angle performance. Their bottom tier tanks aren't great, except for the BTs, but their tanks are pretty consistently good after that. Their higher tiers are the most fleshed out by far, though I would say they're best at 6.7 to 8.7. It's the largest tech tree in the game, but for veteran players I would recommend it more than Germany. Russia's playstyle can be very unique and enjoyable, whereas Germany can be quite boring. Due to the issues with gun handling and tech tree size, I wouldn't recommend it as a starting tech tree. Now onto minor tech trees, starting with Britain. I don't remember much about grinding Britain, just that it wasn't very enjoyable. The lack of APHE really hurts their tanks. There are definitely some gems like the Churchill, Comet, and Centurion though. British tanks are by far the strongest at around 7.0, where they get incredibly strong sable rounds and full stabilizers. Not a good starting tech tree, but not terrible for veteran players. Moving on, I actually really enjoy grinding Japan. They have a lot of great low tier tanks, for example the Shihawk High. They also get a few strong American tanks, like the Chaffee and Bulldog. For the most part, their tanks are fairly unique and fun to play, plus their tech tree is pretty small, so it doesn't take long to reach top tier. I would recommend Japan to both new and old players. China is sort of in the same boat. They don't start getting a lot of unique vehicles until they're mid-tiers, but that's sort of a bonus. If you can't decide between playing the US or Russia, you can just pick China, and get a lot of iconic vehicles from both trees. You can even get the Chiha. The tree is still relatively small, being only a bit larger than Japan. Out of all the minor tech trees, this is the one I would most recommend for new players. To be completely honest, I've barely played Italy at all. It seems their low tiers are pretty rough, and their strongest vehicles can be found mid-tier. Speaking from first-hand experience, their top-tier lineup isn't very good. Not a good tree to start with, and likely not a good tree to divert to. France is a very similar story, but brought to the extreme. They have what is probably the worst low-tier experience in the game, but they also have the best mid-tier vehicles. France's tier 4 vehicles are incredibly strong. When I just want to relax, they are my go-to vehicles. France is also one of the larger minor tech trees. Overall, a terrible nation to start with, but a strong tree for veteran players. And finally, Sweden. I honestly hated grinding Sweden. They have a few gems here and there, but by and large a lot of their mid to low tier vehicles aren't very good. Their tanks start to become quite good at tiers 5 and 6, but overall it's still a pretty painful experience. Not a great pick for new players, but decent for veterans. Anyway, that's all there is to it. My experience may differ from yours, so just experiment until you find your niche. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one.